Hey guys, welcome back. This is Val. Tropical Lagoon is going to be the topic of our review today. And that's by Andrew Pestryakov, I think I pronounced that correctly. And it looks absolutely amazing. And I just want to, you know, take it for a quick spin, see how it performs, how it loads, how it renders, how laggy the camera becomes during design. But I mean, it just looks amazing from the promo images, just absolutely amazing. And, you know, if you know me, I'm a huge fan of tropical, you know, um, settings and all that. Man, this is beautiful. So pretty much what I know about this so far is that it has a centerpiece, which has a little more detail, right? And then it has a little more low res details all around it. So let's fire it up. So inside Dash Studio, we can locate it in my in a Dash Studio formats, my Dash 3 library, environments, Andrei Pestrykov, and Tropical Lagoon. It comes with a few options here. There is a low version, low resolution version. There is a low resolution version with palm trees and a high resolution version. Then we have camera presets and we got lights. This is kind of handy. There's different light presets for different cameras. Love that. Okay, so back to the main folder. I'm going to load the low resolution first. Let's take a look at that. And it loads rather quick. Awesome. Let's use iRe Preview real quick. See how it loads, how it looks. And you know, one thing I always look at when reviewing props is just how laggy does it become during design time because you spend a lot of time in here designing your scene elements right adding characters adding vehicles or modifying the scene and if it's really slow up here it's gonna be a little bit tough right as you can see it performs really really fast now granted i'm using a gtx 1080 but still, I'm quite impressed with how it loads. This is the low version without the palm trees. Now, I'm going to go to camera, load the camera presets. And I've got a few cameras here to select from. Let's choose camera one at the bottom. Not sure we can see that. It's also the screen. And then select the camera view. Excellent. Let's go for lights. Camera one. Awesome. Now, one thing, though that happens right now is that I don't see the background okay so somehow while this was designed it doesn't really load you know it doesn't reload if I click on the settings I can see the the, the shift in the lights all right but somehow the draw dome is not set to on I'd like that to be the default setting. People should not need to go and um, you know, think, uh, hmm, do I need this on? Do I need this on? You know, this should be on by default. So, small drawback, but it loads and looks absolutely amazing in low resolution. So, let me load the other version. Let's go back. Let's remove our low resolution version. Let's load the low resolution with palm trees. And see how that loads. It's a little bit more overhead right now. We have palm trees in here. And palm trees, depending on how they are designed, can use transparency maps or alpha masks. And they might contribute to the overhead rendering time and such. Uh, the, the previous you know, scene we had was kind of new, so to speak. So this one is a little bit more heavy. We can feel that in the rendering. It's a little bit more laggy as well. If I pan the camera, it goes a little bit slower, almost a little bit heavy, All right? Quite heavy here. Let me just go around. So with palm trees on, it's more laggy, but looks absolutely amazing. Love that. All right, so the HR version loads with a lot of stuff and i think it loads the stuff here in the you know in the in the main section here i'm not really sure about that um let me remove it all right i have my scene tab here off the screen a little bit there we go i'm gonna remove the low with palm trees and we'll load the hr version see what happens 
that's gonna take probably a little bit longer to load and it's probably gonna you know feature more lag as we move the camera around so I'm not pausing the video I want to see how long it takes to load there we go now it's gonna prepare the graphic card for the preview it's gonna take a while to load all that into the memory oh man looks awesome love those trees However, as you can see, it doesn't reload the environment behind with palm trees on. All right. So the HR kind of loads the main here, but then again, doesn't load much, you know, uh, of the uh, environmental, you know, stuff with palm trees. So if I just expand it here real quick, we see lot level of detail for you know and such for this main area so i'm going to go ahead and load that the background with more detail i want to see the scene fully designed fully blown up that's the way it is now it's going to be heavy right but probably look amazing too so i'm going to actually pause the video right now because this might take a minute for for Ari to initiate so i'm going to just go ahead and do that all right, went a little bit faster than that. Thing is, it's a little bit unclear what is what here, right? I think the icons could be more clear. Um, Tropical Lagoon, uh, the main area, okay? Tropical Lagoon, distant palm trees. And I would love more of these icons to explain exactly what they do, right? Now, my mouse is very laggy right now. I it takes a long time. And have a pretty decent, you know, PC. I, I've got uh, 24 gigabytes of RAM and 1080 uh, Nvidia GTX. So it's a decent PC, right? It's not high super end, but it's quite laggy at this resolution, right? It's very, very laggy. So when you now add characters to this on top of this, it's gonna be laggy it's gonna take some time for everything to update now let's check out the cameras all right so i'm gonna go back to the scene tab which is over here scene and i'm gonna click on camera 12 just just see what it what it does camera 12 how does it look excellent i love the previews love the camera angles that really showcase the you know the prop from different environmental angles and such let's get my three I mean it looks absolutely gorgeous I mean just just amazing besides each of the cameras has its own live preset right so if you select camera three you want to make sure you have you back it up with the right correct light set so I'm gonna double click on that It shifts the light, shifts the uh, shadows. But as again, as you can see, it immediately removes the Joy Dome on. That must be on. It's off by default, which I kind of, you know, bugs me. But it looks absolutely amazing. So the quality is there. Let me just get really close to the rocks. And I'm gonna check out the sand, but it's very, very heavy. You know, usually when a scene is that heavy, it's quite difficult to render it just takes you know forever to update during design time so normally I don't even do you know um, have the iRe on I use wire bounding box at times that's really fast preview you can move the camera a lot quicker but still I sense that there is you know lag because it's such a heavy scene so it must use a lot of polygons a lot of polygons so I want to here to just get close to the rocks. So I'm going to just take your shit so I see where I am. Just wait for it to update. All right, and moving the camera closer. I want to put it really close to the rocks here just to see how detailed they are up close. 
but the scene is very laggy you know it kind of loses contact with the user at times and just stops you know uh, kind of working let's uh, right click here and just aim it down like so and let's engage NVIDIA preview let's see how it looks up close because there's one thing of a prop looking amazing here in promo renders but you know they maybe t took several hours to render per piece you don't know right and they always look amazing and I always want to see just how does it perform when you actually load it here because that's the the important thing right you want to see can my rig survive it can I really render this so let's wait for this to uh, update I'm gonna pause the video all right and man it looks totally amazing I'm really blown away by the quality of these guys I have to tell you it's incredibly slow right it's I mean it renders pretty fast but the the, the kind of design during design time is very very laggy it's almost like impossible to move the camera around but it looks just incredible so guys this is a great package that looks amazing comes with different options lights and cameras looks absolutely gorgeous but is extremely heavy on your pc and graphic card and it's almost to the point of not being able to use it i kind of lost touch with the scene right now you know it takes in my opinion it's way too heavy you know just to use uh, on an ordinary pc so you got to have a high-end um, graphic card to take full advantage of this you had the low resolution versions too they were really quick if you have a low end but really to take advantage of this beautiful set you need a better graphic card plus the draw dome needs to be ticked on guys that's it for this uh, preview hope you enjoyed it go ahead and check out the link below and i'll see you next time